privileged Nepo baby with a silver spoon still stuck in his mouth? Or 20-something primed to take over the world? With parents like these, who even needs good looks? Here's what Dylan Douglas is up to now. As the child of hugely iconic actors Michael Douglas and Catherine Zeta-Jones, Dylan Douglas said that he often felt alone during his early childhood. The family spent the kids' early years in Bermuda before they moved back to the States, and the transition was not a smooth one for Dylan. He shared the challenges of his life in New York during a speech at the Windward School, admitting, My mother was on Broadway, so she was working when I was asleep and was sleeping when I went to school. Michael had moved the family to New York specifically so Dylan could attend a school that was geared towards kids with language-based learning challenges. Dylan said, At Windward, I was free. See, Windward was like the mecca of dyslexics. I was not the only one. As Michael shared with The Guardian in 2010, My son deals with dyslexia to a degree. It runs in the family, and my brother has it. He goes to a special school. We're old-fashioned parents. They've got British nannies, and we get nice compliments from people. Our children make us proud. Michael Douglas and Catherine Zeta-Jones have worked hard to keep their children's lives as normal as possible. As Zeta-Jones explained to Entertainment Tonight in 2018, They've kind of been a removed from the crazy world of Hollywood or even the crazy world of, of Manhattan. There's a maturity that comes too quick. When Dylan and Karis were younger, Michael spent time with them in the mornings before school. He told The Guardian back in 2010, I make them breakfast and we talk about their day. I like to know who their friends are. I can see the tightness of the bond we feel and the security they have. It is tremendous, unequivocal love with no judgment. And that is the best feeling in the world. Of course, the celebrity parents were well aware that media attention would always surround them and their children. But despite this, their kids are as grounded as they could possibly be. Zeta Jones told Parade in 2022, They're well-rounded, humble, and two great citizens of the planet. Given his lineage, Dylan is certainly no stranger to hanging out with big-name stars and going to Hollywood events. And it appears that he's not opposed to giving an acting career a shot. Referencing Dylan and his sister Karis, Catherine Zeta-Jones told Parade in 2022, They'd love to join the business. My son has done theater production since high school. They've both been to drama camp. While he lent his voice to a 2011 episode of Phineas and Ferb, Dylan hasn't jumped into the biz just yet. He admitted to People magazine in 2022, It's cool to see how, you know, you meet people, talk to people, how they act, and, you know, see if maybe one day I want to do that. So it's very cool. She gives me feedback, and, and most of it is very, very good. I need it. But whichever direction they decide to go, Dylan and his sister aren't in it for the fame. As Zeta Jones told Parade, they know about celebrity dumb, so they don't want to be famous. They just want to be good actors. Michael and I would be the first parents to say, you know, maybe you should think of another career, but we've seen how passionate they are mm -hmm. about the craft. If Dylan does someday go all in on an acting career, he certainly knows what it takes to be successful in a highly competitive industry. And that's thanks to his parents. He shared with Entertainment Tonight in 2023. Well, I'm very, very proud. I mean, obviously, they're great actors, uh, both Academy Award winning actors, but they're great parents. And that's a side that not everyone gets to see. Zeta Jones opened up about her loving dynamic with her kids, telling people, Both my daughter and Dylan have been so incredibly supportive to me, not just as an actor, but just me, you know? I've been extremely blessed to be able to have both in my life. In a since-deleted joint birthday post, yes, his parents have the same birthday, Dylan wrote, Happy birthday to the two most important people in my life. They inspire me, they love me, they made me. Happy birthday, Mommy and Daddy. In 2022, Dylan graduated from Brown University, where he studied political science. Naturally, the one person who could not contain her glee was his mother. She took to Instagram to honor her son, Writing, Graduation congratulations to my boy, my pride, my joy, Dylan. I am inexplicably proud of you, and I love you beyond words. Michael also commented on his son's achievements, posting, One proud dad. Congratulations, Dylan. Well done. 
Now that he's finished his university studies, Dylan's schedule allows him more free time to spend with his parents. As Zeta Jones told Entertainment Tonight, It's great to see him because he's been in college all these years, now he's out and about with us, it's fun. The Douglas Zeta Jones gang may be salt of the earth in spirit, but that doesn't mean they don't enjoy the finer things that come with a combined net worth of roughly $350 million. As would be expected, the family has traveled all over the world together and continues to make the kind of memories most of us could only dream of. Zeta Jones shared with Parade in 2022, My husband and I love being there for our kids, even though they are growing up. We also love to travel and go to art galleries and theater. Happy birthday, me! Happy birthday, Happy you! Birthday, Thanks to that Bermuda-based upbringing when Dylan was a kid, the family learned to appreciate the simpler things in life, far away from all the trappings of Hollywood. Michael Douglas is a fan of motorsport, and it seems that Dylan shares in the excitement of a good race. Michael posted a video to social media from the Formula One Miami Grand Prix in 2022 with Dylan. And on his own Instagram, Dylan shared a photograph of himself sitting in a Formula One racing car. While Dylan appears to be following in his dad's footsteps, Michael explained where he got the racing bug himself, telling Forbes, It goes back to the 60s, really, as I had friends in school who followed it. I have always liked racing, and when I was in high school, I was in a hot rod club in Connecticut. But Dylan isn't only partial to his dad's interests. He's also quite a bit close with his mother. For his birthday in 2022, Zeta Jones took to Instagram to post, You are everything to me, and everything is you. The joy you have brought to this world thus far is immeasurable. I love you more than words can say. A year earlier, in a 2021 chat with the Sydney Morning Herald, Zeta Jones explained her parenting style, sharing, I'm very conscious of my kids being very rooted, very down to earth, and I'm always big on manners. I get complimented on how unaffected they are, and that's because they weren't brought up in Hollywood. Everything else is a bonus. You know, it's, it's, everything else is a bonus in life, and God knows I've been blessed with a lot of bonuses. She also shared that despite their busy schedules and all the travel that comes with their careers, she and her husband have always been present in their children's lives. As she told today, My kids were never schlepped around the world on movie sets. Mm -hmm. They had, Michael was working, I wasn't working, vice versa. Maybe it's the loving family vibe, but Dylan sure seems to have a sweet bond with his two siblings. Dylan is the younger half-brother to Cameron Douglas and older brother to Karis. And by all accounts, the three siblings appear to be tight. In 2020, Dylan celebrated Cameron's birthday, writing, Happy birthday to a beautiful soul, a brilliant mind, and most of all, an amazing brother. So thankful to have you in my life. I love you. And when Karis turned 14 in 2017, Dylan posted a throwback picture, sharing how much he loved her. When Dylan turned 22 in 2022, Karis posted a note to her brother, writing, to my built-in best friend, you are the epitome of joy. While Cameron has experienced his share of challenges throughout the years, his brother and sister have been there for him through it all. As he told the Daily Mail, Zeta Jones would bring Dylan and Karis to visit him in prison when they were very young, in order to keep the siblings in each other's lives. He said, She didn't want to sugarcoat what I was going through. I made mistakes, and there were consequences. As the child of deeply talented parents, it's not a shocker that Dylan also happens to be fostering his own natural artistry and knack for entertaining. In 2023, Michael Douglas shared a video on Instagram of Dylan playing the piano and singing, admitting his pride in his son's musical talent. Dylan definitely has a gift for music, but he isn't the only one in the family who can carry a tune. His sister Karis is also a brilliant singer, and for proof, you need look no further than her rendition of Shallow. But it's clear where these kids get their pipes. And of course, they both love the arts and they both play music. Their mom won an Academy Award in 2003 for her turn as Velma Kelly in the silver screen adaptation of Chicago. The role required some serious singing and dancing chops, and Zeta Jones more than delivered. 
Since it looks like she passed her musical gifts on to her kids, the legacy continues.